You are listening to This is Oklahoma, hosted by Mike Hearn, telling stories of Oklahomans and those that have made it their home. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of This is Oklahoma. Mike Hearn here, your host, back with another episode down at the Bedford Studio today with Mindy and Suzanne to talk about languages, which is, I mean, it's one thing I regret, I think, in school is, is being from the UK and being Welsh. They kind of forced us to learn Welsh growing up. And I just kind of like was like, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not cool enough or whatever. <laughs> it's not cool to learn Welsh. And now I regret it all the time. Uh, but I'm sure there's still time to learn it one day, oh, maybe. Oh, it's never too late, yeah. Uh, but, you know, I think it's something when you travel a lot, like it's just cool to be able to converse mm-hmm. in, you know, the native language, right? And the two languages that you guys teach, mm-hmm. most of the world knows, mm-hmm. right? French and, French and Spanish, French and Spanish exactly. which is really cool. Uh, and it is the number one regret. Everyone regrets no not learning another language. Yeah. So, so before we dive into what you do on the day-to-day mm-hmm. and, and teaching and stuff like that, I guess, tell me a little bit about your Oklahoma story. Okay. Um, I'll start since I'm older. <laughs> your story goes back. My story goes back farther. I'm the mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're a mother-daughter duo, and um, I grew up in Tulsa, uh-huh. went to OU, majored in history, then went on to law school. And um, after law school, I really realized that languages are my passion and went back and got my Spanish and French degrees and um, have been teaching um, ever since at yeah. the University of Central Oklahoma first and then at Oklahoma City University, um, and also Oklahoma Christian. And um, so travel and languages are my favorite things in the world, and obviously I somehow pass that love on to my daughter. (laughs) Yeah. So yeah, we grew up in Edmond, went to Edmond Public Schools, so I went to OU as well. Uh So we've been Oklahomans this whole time. Um, I studied elementary education at OU, so I knew I loved teaching. Yeah. But as I was in college, my mom was constantly studying languages, and I was like, shoot, I wish I would have done a language. Um, and so I went back in my 20s and studied mm-hmm. French. Um, and so then I have been a French professor at UCO, University of Central Oklahoma. And then I teach um, I teach kiddos, so I teach yeah. kindergartners right now. So we're kind of this duo. Like She tends to do like the adult side, mm-hmm. and I tend to do the kid side. I have a young kid, so it kind of makes sense. You're yeah. Westminster yes. in Nicholson's Methodist, yeah. right? Cool. So um, where, I guess where does the love for teaching come from then? Uh, where does the love from teaching come yeah. from? I think it comes from a passion for what we love, and we want to share our passion with others. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. So it's so exciting when somebody else, you know, you see them get as excited as as you are. Yeah. And, um, you know, I might just have a few of those in each classroom, same with you probably, but it, that just does it for me. Yeah. It's just I want to share what I love. And then I guess did yeah. you see what mom was doing and think, yeah. I want to do that too. I, I did, exactly. I knew I wanted to be a teacher. I didn't know that I wanted to be a a language teacher until she was doing it. And then I just fell in love with it too. I studied abroad in Spain. We went together um, Mm -hmm. when I was in college and it kind of just clicked that that's what, that's what we were interested in. Yeah. Was that like a six, six week or eight week? Yeah. I think it was eight weeks in the summertime um, Mm -hmm. when I was, when I was at OU and that was um, just solidified it. Cause like you said, or we were talking about before, it was so fun to be able to actually converse Mm -hmm. in Spanish rather than just expect everyone else to speak English to Mm me. Um, And we've traveled, Suzanne and I are traveling buddies Mm -hmm. and we have traveled the world together so it kind of goes hand in hand I think a love of travel and language is right and I'm sure you notice they treat you a lot differently Mm -hmm. right when you when you are when you speak to them in (laughs) your language and you're good at it too right oh yeah we get corrected or whatever we did at the beginning and that's Mm -hmm. fine but people tend to really respect that you're trying right Um, right that you don't just show up somebody somewhere and Uh expect them to speak their language having learned um you know I guess I started um French maybe as a teenager, but not having learned young, young, we'll always right. have a mm-hmm. somewhat of an accent. But we get th- comments like, are you from Canada? They're trying to figure out where right. is this French accent that's not quite Parisian. Yeah, yeah. but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. People can understand you mm-hmm. and you can get around better yeah. and you feel confident traveling knowing that you can <laughs> ask right. for help or um, mm-hmm. yeah, meet new people. So yeah, yeah that's fun. I love it. And it's, I, I went, we went, me and my wife went to Paris uh, for like, when we got married for, mm-hmm. for four or five days and I was like don't speak because they hate Americans let me try and figure <laughs> things which out don't, <laughs> which, right, which was, and this has been five years ago now and, and she's like and her parents actually like they we were leaving as their parents were coming over, coming in as mm-hmm. well and my father-in-law is six five like Native American like 
doesn't you know he, one of the funny <laughs> stories is he's like he's in a store with our mother-in-law and just standing there like this this giant of a man and you know french women aren't very tall are they and it's like <laughs> Was kind of scared this woman because she's turned around and not realized he was standing there. And <laughs> was like, out. he's like, I'm sorry. That's so funny. Uh, but they had a great time traveling. I mean, Paris is awesome as well, it's isn't the, it? Oh, it's the best city oh, it's in the world. Our and place. we, we yeah. always laugh that Parisians have a, um, a reputation for being rude, and we don't find that at right. all. No. Even when that we first went, and our French was, you know, yes, yeah. rusty in the very rusty, beginning. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was so nice to us when we had a funny story in Paris, too. Um, Suzanne and I, gosh, this was probably 20 years ago, or maybe 15 years ago. How old am I? <laughs> <laughs> maybe 15 years ago, um, we went and we had decided to travel around Europe. But when yeah. we got to Paris, we went, no, we don't want to, we want to stay here for our, I think we had like 17 okay. yeah, days, a few weeks, about yeah. Yeah, a few yeah. weeks. And so we canceled everything else. We canceled Switzerland and um, we were going okay. to Italy and everything. And we just decided to stay in Paris, but we only had rooms for five nights. Right. And um, because the French Open was in town, nobody had a room. No, nobody. And so we are just wheeling our wheelie suitcases Literally. all around Paris, yeah. knocking on doors. We're like, good thing we know some French. We'll just use our French to. Yeah. <laughs> but everyone was so nice people, to yeah. us, even though they were full. <laughs> they were so right. sweet. Yeah. We finally found the most adorable little bed and breakfast, yeah. and it turned out to be a great adventure. Yeah. Um, we pretended we lived there. And yeah, we were like, we'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, exactly. someone's going to take us eventually. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's such, just such a cool place to go, isn't yeah. it? Like, it really is. You know, you got all the artwork that's there and, and everything, and like, like I said, if you're in town when the French Open's going on yeah. or in the Fashion Week's going on, like you just got all this hustle and bustle going around and coffee shops are full and like uh -huh. this Heaven. is, you know, you're right, it is. It's And it's, it's. I remember like when we got there, we we got there late in the afternoon and, and someone's kind of going down. It's like, let's just walk to the Eiffel Tower. Why uh -huh. not? And we walk out and we see like, because it's around dinner time, we see this guy like coming out of a bakery with a baguette. And my wife's just like, yeah, we're clearly in Paris. It's like yeah, this guy walking down that. with like yeah. this giant the baguette. To us. Yeah, yeah, the a cliche, scene. like yeah, like yeah. Oh, okay, this, like, this sweet old man walking around with you, just just carrying it with his hand, not like yeah, because there's no preservatives right, in the bed. Yeah. bread. You have to buy it just every day. So awesome. Um, um, so, I mean, what's it like to, I guess, travel with you know mother, daughter, and like I can't think of anything better than like going travel and playing golf with my dad, right? Mm -hmm. That's like kind of what you, it's like the same equivalent of what it's, you guys do. It's it's we're very similar. Yeah, yeah. we like the same things as far as when we travel. All we mm -hmm. want to do is explore, and we don't like to have much of an agenda. Mm -hmm. So we like to have a big list of things that we know we want to do, but then we just kind of mm -hmm. just figure go out, out and figure it out. We've never um, gone on a guided tour. We yeah. we just head out the front door mm -hmm. and find our own adventures. We like meeting people and um, mm -hmm. sitting in cafes a lot. We also are big on, we only allow ourselves to take a carry-on, even if we're yes. going for two or three weeks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and We like, want to kind of be free to just like- Hop yeah, on a train or whatever, mm -hmm. so. But we're also like, we have a lot of stories of mishaps. Yes, um, we're kind of disasters, both yeah. of us. We miss trains. Do tell, and, this, and, yeah. I mean, I definitely want to know that I'm not the only one that's done oh, this. Oh, <laughs> you're definitely not. Oh, goodness, yeah. no. There's been lost luggage on trains left that, you know, never to see again. And Yeah. Um, we stayed at this little place um, once that was like a, I guess it was a and b but it was almost like you were staying in like someone's apartment. Do you remember this? We had a really, really early train to make in the morning oh, and they had yeah. like locked up like to keep us all safe. Yeah. And so we came down in the morning and I mean, the door was like boarded up. Do you remember that? That was weird because there was like 20 locked. We like, like physically <laughs> couldn't get out. And we were kind of panicked we too. We were like, are we like, are we trapped right. here? Right. Um, I think we set up the alarm. Film. Yeah. yeah, we yeah. do all sorts of all sorts of and stuff. And we could see through the um, glass on the sides of the doors, we could see our taxi leaving, and it was like four oh, in the morning. No. We're like, <gasps> oh no! Yeah. I know, just but, all sorts of things like that. Yeah. But it never. I mean, it always pans out. Um, right. right. So we love traveling together. We don't get um, too stressed out when it's just the two of us. Mm -hmm. um, we're like, so we missed a yeah. flight. Oh well. Yeah, we'll no, we're not responsible for anyone else. So we, right. we love right. traveling as a duo. So yeah. it's really really fun. And then learning, going to do the school thing for eight yeah. weeks in in Spain. Did you stay in one spa one spa one city or did you just kind of like was it like one class a week and then kind of travel as well like how, how does that work out um so, so i went with friends when i was at um ou and we were studying at the university of valencia in okay. spain so that's where we were we were we had a little apartment yeah. um and then we would travel on the weekends and so she came my mom came and visited and we met in barcelona mm -hmm. um and that was that was super fun we we met them at the train station right. in Barcelona. Barcelona. That now that's Oh yeah, you got your phone stolen. <laughs> Day one got my phone <laughs> stolen. Yeah. I think you like oh, oh right. I called it 
because I'm like, some nice person probably has it. And I called it, and it's like... It's already in Spanish. It's, yeah. It was, yeah. Already Somebody converted. answered in Spanish, converted, done. I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> there goes. Find, No find my phone back in those no, days. No, no, exactly. It's like 2010 or something. <laughs> absolutely but We not. still, we absolutely loved it. That was just us being being a little bit careless. Barcelona, the coolest um, city ever. Nothing starts till 9 p.m. Mm-hmm. You know, the restaurants don't open till 9 p.m. Mm-hmm. That was mm-hmm. a, just a really different culture than I loved. Yeah. And it was fun. And I remember you saying you came over, and we knew Spanish, but mm-hmm. you were like, oh, my gosh, after how you, me and my friends having been there for eight weeks, she was like, you, you guys great. spoke so well. And uh-huh. to us, we were thinking, oh, we're still making mistakes. Right. But um, from someone else looking in, um, yeah. so that immersion so was incredible. And you yeah. embraced the lifestyle really fast. They were staying out. Well, because the disco not hard when you're having a great 20 time. years old. Yeah. <laughs> the <laughs> the disco would open like at midnight. <laughs> and so she'd come home at five. And she'd yeah. be knocking on my door at eight, like, do you want to go get coffee? I'm like, ugh. <laughs> 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 it's so true, though. Isn't it? And that's I tried telling people, you know, when, when nightclubs here close at 2 a.m. I'm like, why can't we not go out till like 11 midnight? Yeah, and like you, the night's like just said, starting. 40, I mean, if you come in at 5 a.m., you've been, you've been out all night. You had a really good time. Oh, yeah. But those Spaniards, they'll just head to work at 9. You know, yeah. they came in at 5. They head to work at 9. I guess it's all about the siesta. You better catch your siesta. Yeah. I guess. I don't know. I guess. But one thing I miss from being out here is the fact that, like, they take time off. Like, yeah. they'll get six to eight. Yes. Yeah, was it? Four to six weeks off mm-hmm. from work. They take the siesta, and they really value that. They Whereas do. Whereas out here, it's like do your 50, 60 hours a week right. and you live, you know sleep on the weekends and then you're back to work Monday morning. Which I think the French and the Spanish really pride themselves yeah. on quality of life mm-hmm. it's a lot more, more than Americans. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They And they think of us as workaholics, I think. Yeah. Um, and yeah, you know how it's rude in France to ask somebody what they do for a living? That's just not what they want to talk about. Yeah. It's like work. Right. They, yeah, they don't want to talk about it. So yeah, yeah it's yeah. interesting culture cultural differences yeah I have that constant battle with with my wife like she works you know pretty hard and I what she what she thinks I don't work hard at all I come (laughs) and I interview people and I hang out and I sell a few houses here and there and that's about it that's a great yeah oh yeah I'm all about it and I'm like you need to take time and enjoy your life you don't work to you know you don't work to just live or whatever live to work whatever that is that's really what also has how we have um loved living this lifestyle that we're living because same Mm -hmm. you know um we do work hard but we have lots of periods during the day when we're free Mm -hmm. we teach a class at 9 a.m but then we're free till noon when we work on our we and see and then we have another class at the university maybe at two we can kind of set our own schedule we really can besides the classes we can set our own schedule when we work on we and see so um yeah it gives us a lot of freedom no doubt yeah so to that point then the yes. we and see stuff did yes. that come about while you were still teaching early on or mm-hmm. was this something that's just been a product of like covid and online learning no but that was yeah. both i, I guess say. both okay yes go we ahead we started thinking maybe we'll just start it as a like a little side tutoring sure. business we like we keep talking about we love teaching languages mm-hmm. we were teaching these large classes and we thought it'd be fun to teach people one-on-one maybe teach young kids yeah. and so that's how we very first started the brand it was, we and see. It was just tutoring Mm -hmm. we just had a little website and we would just book tutoring clients Mm -hmm. um and then i think it was kind of the i guess it was in the pandemic it's been a year Uh i guess you're Um, right we started with the children's boxes that was kind of your idea yeah thinking that we wanted to create these beautiful spanish and french children's learning boxes that would make learning fun for kids so in each box not only were there things for the children to play with, um, they didn't realize they were learning, but there was all sorts of French and Spanish letters and words, and um, there is a QR code that you can um, have a lesson that goes along with the box. So there's like a Spanish garden box, and the whole little lesson will be focused on that. Um, so the kids have fun and have no idea. They're watering. Yeah. They've got a little watering can in the garden box, but they're also learning the Spanish word to water. and. You know, same thing with the French Mm -hmm. um, little lessons. And so we just want to make learning fun. And then we got really excited when we realized adults were like, wait a minute, we want something. What could Mm -hmm. you guys do for adults and older kids? Because the boxes are really meant for kind of two or three to eight or nine. So we came up with, why don't you explain the digital lessons? Yeah, so... um we came up with the idea to do digital language lessons, but kind of in the same idea that we wanted it to be fun. Um, yeah. That's the reason we like learning languages, or I guess the way we like learning is mm-hmm. learning like reading a book or mm-hmm. listening to music or um, anything like that. And so we made these lessons that um, are, are fun. So for the kids' lessons, there's all these game ideas, but like they might be in French. There's yeah. um, Hop like a frog in. You yeah. Know. There's we always link Ooh, tons of yeah. things. We link all our favorite kids' songs, and the adult lessons okay. will link like. 
like a podcast that they might want to listen to in French. Um, or linked recipes, art, mm -hmm. everything that we think is interesting yeah. that makes the learning the language fun. And we include tons of travel because obviously we love to sure. travel. Mm -hmm. So um, inspiring people to travel mm -hmm. to these places and then have the language kind of background mm -hmm. um, to help them get there. And they're beautiful lessons. Yeah, we have photography and um, photos from our travels. And um, just, they're just, I think they're fun. Um, it makes me laugh because my husband took... Um, one of a well-known brand name's language lessons not long ago, and he got so frustrated because you had to say right. the phrase correctly. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, before Into, like your microphone. You could move on. Oh, really? And unless you said it correctly, it would say, "I'm sorry, please try again." <laughs> and he literally wanted to throw his computer against the wall. I forgot about I that. I can't because, imagine how bad that would yeah. have been. And he does not. His accent is just not there. So. Yeah. I was sitting beside him because I speak. He was trying to learn Spanish, and I was sitting beside him, smiling because he wasn't saying it right. And he was like, "I'm saying it right," <laughs> but it wasn't fun. It right. was rote. It was dry. Mm -hmm. It was just grammatical. We just have taught at university mm -hmm. and with children making learning fun in our classroom. And mm -hmm. we wanted the same thing with these digital lessons because you can learn a language and become fluent and it still can be really fun. Yeah. So yeah. that's our that's our. Yeah, and we don't really find people stick with it unless it is enjoyable. Right. So they have right. to find some facet of it that they find interesting. Mm -hmm. You know, other than just learning the grammar, learning mm -hmm. the vocab. Yeah. Um, and so that's why we incorporate all those other things. And then we have videos in them too, of course, because people do get frustrated with the pronunciation. Mm -hmm. So you can click on it and see us speaking the phrase or whatever, but there's the, the other aspects that make it interesting. Yeah. Right. Right. So it's been super fun then. Yeah. It's been we super love creating fun. it. And something else really rewarding, we decided from day one we wanted to give one box away for every box we sold. Now it's digital lessons and we're going to figure that yeah, out. Yeah, we can yeah. give away some curriculum. But we've given away hundreds of boxes and I think that's been rewarding. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so that's something we want to stick with, um, give back to the community. Yeah. That's been good to us. I mean, so. it must be so like it just makes you feel good, right? When you when you when you you get reviews from someone like this was so much fun. This was so easy for us to learn. Thank mm -hmm. you for making it easier yes. and fun, mm -hmm. rather than the experience that your husband had is like <laughs> I want to throw my computer through the wall. Exactly. And, you know, there's a. Like, I don't know if people have seen it. They might not have. And if they haven't, you should YouTube like Scottish. There's a, there's a scene on a comedy show back home, in, uh, and it was in Scotland, and it was like two Scottish guys in a lift in, a, in a, an elevator in America. And he's talking about, you know, his voice activated and he's like, take us to what, whatever floor it is. And it's just a great, hilarious scene. Because I can't understand them. They can't yeah. understand a word, you know. And, and the same thing, it's like, please say the name again, you know, play them, say the number again. And it's just, it's fantastic. That um, is great. I love it. Because, you know, no doubt people have been through that before, right? For this sure. is not the only, this won't be the first time that's happened. Of course. To somebody learning a language. Uh, what, so what are the things, if it's, has it kind of taken off then during like last year with everyone like home learning and mums having to deal with their little mm. ones trying to like yes. teach they become teachers yeah, now haven't they which exactly. I can't think of anything no. I would have been terrible at that I, thankfully my son's yeah. only two and a half Cannot so imagine. I wasn't having to homeschool him but having a young kid home it was like yeah. oh, what do I do with him I don't want to let him like watch TV all day um, mm -hmm. you know at the beginning of this or in the winter it was you're just stuck home and so that was kind mm -hmm. of um, we were inspired mm -hmm. by that thought. Whether yeah. you're home with little kids or a little bit older kids, it's educational, but it's not boring educational. And you can move at your own pace. I like that about our program too, is um, for instance, let's say you get digital French lesson one. Well, and you, you know, um, what is that, $20? Yeah. Um, you can keep that lesson, well, it's yours, of course, but you could work on that for a day, a week, a month, as long as you want until you're ready to purchase French lesson two. So it's yeah. very much at your own pace. You can go mm -hmm. as slow or as fast as you want. Yeah. Um, so we've had a lot of parents and grandparents um, purchase either the lessons or the or the boxes uh -huh. and, and uh -huh. say, Same way. like you said, say, oh, this was a you know, game changer mm -hmm. for a, you know, long Monday where it was rainy at home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we were, and people subscribe yeah. to yeah. where yeah. they have get the boxes monthly. Um, yeah. So it has. It's taken off. And we don't know anything else. We started this in, in the pandemic times, so we don't, you know, right. this is always known. This is known, all we know. <laughs> but, it's, but it's been great, and we're happy to hear that it's given people um, something fun but, like, educational to do. Right. Yeah. And the boxes, you just kind of brainstormed and came up with something just from your experience as teachers to, hey, what's going to make this fun mm -hmm. for the little ones? And yeah. then if the adult, the adults get boxes too, right? No, um, the adults okay. are just digital lessons, Got you. just okay. online. Yeah. Um, boxes sure are kind of for li little kids, little okay. hands that need to stay busy while they're learning. Yeah. You know, there's all sorts of manipulative things they can do. Um, you know, uh, the F F French City Box, for example, is going to have um, a few 
French um, icons. Like there'll be a wooden Eiffel Tower, a wooden Notre Dame, but then there's also some tweezers with some beautiful felt balls so they can sure. um, count the little balls as they put them into a little container in French. Uh -huh. and, so, and then it kind of the lessons kind of for the parents to see, okay, what should I, you know, invite them to do that that would be educational while they're playing right. with their box. Gotcha. And then the digital lessons kind of follow that without without the, you know, physical aspect of Maybe the, the box. adults would like a box, but they're not getting a box. Just, I mean, they can play with, with their <laughs> yeah, kids. Yeah, I yeah, they can play with their kids. Zen yeah. moment. <laughs> so, was it like from 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 the start, was it just the kids or did it was it it was just the kids from the start mm -hmm. and then the adults were like, "Hang on a second, there's yeah. a, mm -hmm. so you saw that opportunity in Build mm -hmm. something naturally yes. would, would teach you guys. We constantly not. have people um, asking us to tutor them, mm -hmm. and it got out of control. Yeah. We, There's only two of us. There were two of us, right. and all of a sudden, we were tutoring all day, every day, and sometimes mm -hmm. Saturdays and Sundays, and we went, oh, wait, this isn't going to work. Yeah. We can't do it. So this was the digital lessons were mm -hmm. an answer to that. Mm -hmm. um, there are so many people who want to learn a foreign language, and it's so cool because you can be you know, two years old, or you could be 92. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, it's the joy of learning. Mm -hmm. So we've yeah. had, what would you say the average age of the people we've tutored? That's a tutored? really good question. I would say like middle Sur age tends surprising. to be the most popular. Yeah. I don't know if it's just 30 kind of 30 to 60. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. I would say 30 to 60 is our biggest age group, which is surprising to me the amount of 30 year olds I have. Mm -hmm. um, that's young. People you know? like myself who regret not yes. learning in school. Yes. And, and like, then you think I it's too late, to but it's now. not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And they can't, during quarantine, they can't, or during COVID, they can't go do what they usually do. So they have all this extra time. You're right. Why not try and learn a language? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's really cool. And I had oh, somebody wise once say to me, it's so simple, but in five years, five years will have passed yeah. whether you learned something new or not. Mm -hmm. And I always think of that as such a simple thing to think, but it's true. In five years, do you wish you'd learned to play an instrument or a language, right. learned a language? Because five years will be here, yeah. and you could have done it. And it goes by super fast. Yes, yeah. yes. Um, so, so this is happening. You know, it's 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 growing during COVID, and you're like, mm -hmm. wow, this has become a thing now. This is really cool to mm -hmm. generate an online business um, and teaching the kiddos and sending, you know, getting all these reviews back, and and people clearly love what you do. You're still teaching at this time, though, right? Like you're in school mm -hmm. and you're you're mm -hmm. doing your general nine to five jobs. Mm -hmm. Um, which I'm sure it's great to do the online stuff because it just takes care of itself, mm -hmm. you know, and you create the curriculum and you just send it off and there mm -hmm. it is. I'm sure mm -hmm. there's minimal managing. But uh, what is that, I guess, what's it like getting back to, I mean, are you back in the classroom now? Yes. Like what was that all getting back into it and yes. going through that whole online learning period and Zoom um, and all the rest of it? We Zoomed last spring um, starting in March okay. um, and Zoomed through the summer. But we came back to classes at OCU and OC in the fall mm -hmm. and have been um, there ever since. Sometimes a few students will Zoom um, and they're allowed to do that if obviously if they've tested positive yeah, yeah. for COVID or whatever. But no, we're we're in mm -hmm. the classroom and uh, you are too. Yeah, so it's a, it's a balancing act. I mean, yeah. having to be <laughs> back in the world but then also try and mm -hmm. work on this business. And, and even though the lessons run themselves, it does take a long time to create. Oh each yeah, right. Lesson. Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, we were we put our heart and soul into every single lesson, um, and the teaching um, has helped so much because we've spent years teaching. And so we think, well, what did my students like? What did they not like? I'll pull from fun things we did because we always try to do fun stuff in our classrooms yeah. too, and then incorporate it. Um, but yeah, it, it does take a long time. And the mm -hmm. technology, like we talked about, is yeah. behind the scenes is a learning curve. <laughs> right. Um, but we enjoy it. I mean, we said so we tend to do it, you know, in mm -hmm. the evenings after my son goes to bed or mm -hmm. on the weekends or whenever we have time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And continually evolving and, and built, making new curriculums yeah. and oh, just yes. pushing that out as well. <clears throat> oh, yes. Because we only started the digital lessons about four or five months ago. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so we put out kind of the first five um, mm -hmm. just to kind of put them out French, there. French, yeah. Spanish, yeah. and kids. And kids. And then they will, we're trying to add one a week mm -hmm. of each one new Spanish adult, gotcha. one new French adult, and one new kids the same yeah, um, yeah. each week because we want to hopefully have you know a beginning set, um, mm -hmm. intermediate set, and an advanced set, and then we could explore France and sure. have a travel. French, travel, Spanish. Right. Yeah, I mean, we'd love to be people's source for learning another language, not mm -hmm. just like a little fun one-time mm -hmm. lesson. We'd love for them to come to us and yeah. kind of dive into all of our lessons. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. we have other stuff that we're putting on our website, you know, other re free resources. We have YouTube videos that we put up. Mm -hmm. So we'd love to be people's like one-stop yes. shop for learning If you stick with language. us, you yeah. can learn a second language yeah. and have fun doing it. Yeah, and get mm -hmm. yeah travel recommendations and all sorts of things like well, that. And now things are finally opening exactly. up, right? We're allowed to travel hopefully more yes. and, and people are, you know, 
all the money that they haven't spent on travel, they now <laughs> want to spend it, right? And want to go yeah. to their places. It's so. true. When I think France opens yeah. up this summer. Well, they're like, their cafes and patios open today, yes. right. not tomorrow, Wednesday. Yes, they so. do. Yeah, they're yeah, opening yeah. up. And then Americans, I think, are can come and starting uh-huh. like next month. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's exciting. I'm super excited. I wonder to travel. if we'll have to carry a little. Uh, yeah, we'll see, right? Like card. a little, little like, ID I don't card. know. Yeah, that's yeah. strange. That feels weird. I just, I just don't want to fly 12 hours wearing a mask. Oh, my gosh, like, I know. Just no, don't, that's that, so that, true. Yeah, like it's, my, my parents were, I mean, I have, I usually go home every year, and obviously I haven't been home in two years now. Oh, and, oh, and like goodness. my mum and dad, like, as soon as we're allowed, we're coming out. Yeah. Like, well, there's no quarantine here, so you can come over whenever yeah, you want. Yeah, you're welcome to come. But, but going back, you have to quarantine, which might suck. But, yeah. um, and cost more money, obviously, to put yourself in a hotel. Exactly. Um, so, so because things are opening up now, right, you, you know, has there been a thought of doing in-person events, like hanging out, like, I mean, drinking yes. a few wines and, and <laughs> yes. learning languages, right? Like, that Absolutely. just seems like the, the yeah, great we wanna, thing to do. We did a, people. Um, yes, we did a little pop-up shop with some other businesses mm-hmm. and had fun doing that. And coming up, um, Bradford House, which is on Classen and maybe... It's a beautiful-looking house as you oh, drive down Classen. So yes, yes, yes. I, I'll give the wrong... Uh, street address, address, but it's own class and beautiful little um, bed and breakfast hotel. And they've asked us to do some classes this summer. Mm-hmm. And so our first one starts on June 2nd. It's uh, titled Explore Paris. You don't have to have any French language um, at all to come join the class. Yeah. Um, so we will learn some French, and we will also learn a lot about Paris. So it's actually a three-week class, but you can just take one if you prefer. Gotcha. Um, or you can sign up for all three. And then in July, they want us to do another three-week session, and that will probably be Provence and the Côte d'Azur. And mm-hmm. then um, the third session and last session they asked us to do we might do a French cooking if that they allow that uh-huh. yeah, yeah. Um, they have that beautiful oh, bakery so good. the so Quincy good. Bake Shop yeah. Trisha the chef there is a genius yeah her pain au chocolat if you mm-hmm. haven't have it it's to it's as good for. as it gets right and so maybe that's why we go so often because it feels like a it Parisian like, like yeah. it does yeah. it's got that vibe have yeah. they told you the story about meeting um, Michelle who sourced all their art, all their no oh, you haven't heard that story no. yet no that's I don't think so fantastic okay so we did a podcast with them which is, hasn't gone out yet um but is it Sarah? Sarah Kate. Sarah Kate. Mm-hmm. Sarah Kate, um, the one they went over mm-hmm. to source all of this stuff, they were going to get a container and ship it back, and they were having no luck. And they met someone uh, who introduced them to an art dealer called Michelle. Mm-hmm. And the story is fantastic. You'll have to ask them when you go there, because it's, it's just, he basically has come to my house, and he has, you know, typical French, like, in the yeah. middle of the countryside, high fences, high hedge walls, and he's just got stuff everywhere. <gasps> and they've been back multiple times, and he's visited the Bradford house. I mean, really? the story's fantastic. That's yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why it looks, because it is from, everything's from France. Oh, uh, I, I actually think they ship know two containers Kate. out here, yeah. She and I, Sarah Kate and I, go way back. Mm-hmm. We both worked at J. Crew together. Okay. Way Isn't back. That funny. And <laughs> yeah. then well, literally I saw her at Bradford House and found out she had yeah. bought it. So and, yeah, and you spend every morning every having morning. coffee. I do. There. I do. I so love, yeah. love, love going there. Mm-hmm. It is a, a beautiful place. It's very relaxing. Yeah. So yes, we're excited three, three to classes. get yeah. back in back in yes. person doing fun activities that are um, mm-hmm. like language and travel based, but but that are just fun. So I think yeah. they're gonna have like coffee and um, pastries and yes um, yeah. it, and then you get fun. a little french lesson gotcha. um yeah that's right. really cool interactive learning yeah. great time uh-huh. in, yeah. it's know. just going to be every wednesday morning for an hour yeah. um so inspire people to get back traveling that's and, what i will hope it does yeah. Yeah. yeah inspire them to learn a language go to travel explore the world and yeah. then if they want to explore their language and get a bit better right they come straight to you guys and like exactly. they want to learn a little bit more you know yeah. this is like and an introduction to french yeah. like you know Here's it the is. basics. Here's what's going to get you around. Right. But if you really want to converse and have a great time, yes. you can do that. Got Absolutely. Uh, exactly. Exactly yeah. right. Yeah, so we're excited. So what about, like, the future plans then for all for this stuff? Like, I mean, this is just the beginning, right? You know, this you Very could, much. The sky we is haven't even limit. been a year yet. But. Yeah. I know. It's so interesting. My husband always says, when you start a business, you'll be shocked at five or ten years later, it wasn't at all what you expected. Uh-huh. You know, when you start something, yeah. I think you've probably Same found thing. that to be yeah. true. Yeah, 100%. And yeah. so it already has evolved a little mm-hmm. bit, obviously, with our digital lessons. We never intended to do that. Yeah. And um, 
I picture it evolving somehow. I don't know yeah. how. I think our mindset is like we just try to keep an open mind, uh -huh. and when like either an idea or just inspiration comes mm -hmm. to us, kind of run with it. So we don't we don't know, but we definitely right. know that we're on the right path, and we're going to keep. Yeah. Doing this is this. this is our love. So we, I think we both found what we love yeah. to do, and so we have decided to just pursue it no matter what. Yeah and um, see where it takes us. But more lessons for sure. Oh, yes, um, lots of lessons. Growing into, like we said, we want to be like a hub for language learning, but if mm -hmm. anything else comes our way, we're, we're here for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we want to go back to oh, France of and Spain and all mm -hmm. the places. And maybe yeah. not come home. Yeah, right. it's possible. <laughs> hey, now you have an online business. You can exactly. go wherever you want, right? Exactly. Thanks. I mean, everyone I is comfortable people, Zooming yeah, now, right? Exactly. So you can teach from wherever. Instagram's dangerous for that because we Very. see all these beautiful apartments above cafes. We're like, oh, no. Oh, this and French architecture is in incredible, incredible, isn't it? It's You're incredible. Right. Yeah. When yeah. we go, we like to look, you know, on the side of buildings where they have homes that are for sale mm -hmm. and just kind of dream. Yeah. So yeah. we'll see. Yeah. Has there been any languages that you guys have, like, like obviously learning, you've got French and Spanish, but is there some that you, like, you guys are trying to learn as mm -hmm. well, others? Mm -hmm. Like, what, what's on the list? Yes. I've always been working on Italian. Okay. Um, and I took some Italian classes at UCO and kind of always keep that around. And I even tutored a little bit in Italian, but it's rudimentary. Gotcha. I can understand it, but I can't speak it very well. And then um, I've taken some German classes at UCO uh -huh. as well. So we really do love languages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's that's no joke. Suzanne likes all the romance languages, mm -hmm. too. Um, German doesn't count. But as a it does not language. count, no. But the, the classroom we both taught in was like the German classroom. Yeah. So sometimes we would stay and just say, can we sit in your class? And the, the teacher was so nice and said, yeah. sure. Because we just like because to learn languages like to learn in languages. general. Languages. Yeah. So yeah, I think the, the hardest ones, right, are English and is it Mandarin? Probably. I can't even two? imagine. Yeah. When the, when the alphabet changes, I mean, I just have a right. whole new respect for people yeah, that are able symbols, to pick that up. Mm, I don't know about that. And English, of course, we're fortunate it's our first language yeah. and it's so hard. And I think another thing is when you learn another language, you have this respect for people mm -hmm. that have learned English. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, you're so impressed right. that they speak two languages mm -hmm. or three. Yeah. So you have this empathy that um, you didn't mm -hmm. have before. And speaking of empathy, that's another reason we love of people learning languages is it's amazing how you just come to learn about other people in the world, how we're all really the same. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's, it seems to give you a sense of compassion for others and learn about their culture culture, and realize, you know what, we're just all in this together. Yeah. I don't know. Don't you think it gives yeah. you a sense of empathy for yeah. others in the world? Yeah, and acceptance and, and, and acceptance. interest in other yeah. cultures. And that's that's kind of why we started this in the uh -huh. first place with little kids. We thought we should uh -huh. start them off knowing that, you know, their little corner of the world is not yeah. is not all there is. Um, right. But that goes for adults, too. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for yeah. sure. And I, I mean, that's why I encourage people to travel. Exactly. Go see a different part of the world. Yeah. I mean, and get off the beaten path and mm -hmm. go hang out in local restaurants. And There are wonderful people know. all over the world. Yes. Definitely. Yeah. Yes. Um, so, so for everyone listening, where can they go for, you know, what's your, I guess, website and social media? And how can they get in touch if they listen to this and they think, I want to learn French? Because it's, <laughs> you know, it is, like you said, the romance language. And, and it's just... I want to go to Paris one day. Yeah. So our website is just weandc.com. So just we and C, like the yes and yes in French and Spanish. So. There's the we. Yeah. So O U I and yeah. then and S I. So weandc.com. Gotcha. Um, and same with our Instagram. It's the same thing. It's just at weandc. Uh -huh. We've got a Facebook under the same name. Um, we've got a YouTube under the same name. So yeah. they can find us all there. But if you go to the website, it's all there. Um, mm -hmm. And they can connect with us there. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. yeah. we would love to have them. Yeah. Awesome. All are welcome. Yeah. Uh, so for everyone listening, I'll post that in the description below so you can go straight to it, check out the Instagram website and Facebook. Um, and ladies, thank you so much for coming down. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you, thank you for having us. It's so fun. It. Awesome. So for everyone listening, again, <laughs> yes, everything will be in the description and we'll catch you next episode. Cheers. Thank you for listening. We are inspired by those around us and hope that you are too. Make sure you subscribe to this podcast on your favorite podcast platform and leave us a review so we can keep telling your stories. For more great Oklahoma content, follow This Is Oklahoma on Facebook and Instagram.